Figures by Doris Charre. Here we're going to practice drawing some figures. I've already been practicing, so I'll do it over again for you. Remember that adding figures in a painting, let's say they're very small, often figures like this are no bigger than two centimeters or an inch high or not much bigger than that. So you start with a circle, then you add a triangle with round corners, and then you add two rectangles. And that makes the legs. So you have the head, the body, the legs, a tiny mark for the feet, and then another rectangle with a other rectangle that I'm going to add just now. Um, and then another rectangle for the arms. So now a circle, two rectangles. We've practiced that part. Two marks for the feet. Now the arms can be different. So instead of wide arms, I have crooked arms. So I have two rectangles instead of one. Again, just a small circle with a curve this time. So you have a moon shape. And this creates a figure from the side. And then you have the legs. And you can see the movement. So the figure is moving. We have another circle with another triangle here. And we're going to add the rectangle. But the arms are in different positions. And you can do that. Watch people and see how their arms are and practice that part. Remember, these figures are going to be small. They're not going to be very big at all. So when you're looking at them from far away, remember, people just look like shapes. And these shapes are what defines the person. So here you have a person that's, ha that's happy and doing a little happy dance. And uh, there they go. They're figure, the way you put the lines down just shows exactly how happy they are. Now you have a figure with a bag, not a very complicated process, just a basic rectangle with a little semicircle. Again, the figure that is from the side, this one is sitting at a computer. So you have the person from the side, the chair, the floor, the basic desk, first the computer and then the desk. And that's the person from the side. The next one is just the circle, the rectangle again. And this person is doing something different. Can you guess what it's going to be? This person's a woman, so wearing a dress. So again, you show triangle with a triangle that is upside down for the skirt and the other way for the top. So don't forget she had a handbag. So that's just really a rectangle with a little handle. So to create a hat, you just make a circle with a line through it. If there's a line only on one side, it's a ball cap. And if it's on both sides, it's like a cowboy hat or a safari hat. So here we have a small figure with the arms, and then there's a leash with a dog. Now, I'm not an expert on dogs, so forgive me for this one, but here you have a small puppy. And then the person with the legs for the rectangle, and this arm is going to be holding something different. So it's holding the hand of a smaller person. So this person is taking their dog for a walk and they have a child as well. So a smaller figure, same shapes, circle, triangle, rectangles for the legs. That's all there is to it. These are easy, really easy tips and things that you can practice. Remember, practicing is the best idea for these basic shapes. Work really hard at just practicing. So now we're going to create a cowboy. 
So you have again the circle, the line for the hat, the triangle, and the rectangles. Think about this person being seen from far away. What would the shape be like? So you have feet that are just a mark with a brush, and then arms. This cowboy is standing and looking lost, or maybe mm, just looking for the cows. I don't know. Here's a tie and a belt that you can add in a different color. It doesn't have to be white like I'm doing. You could use another color, but keep it simple, basic shapes. So the light shining on the hat as well. So a little bit of white on the hat. See how easy it is to create small figures. But it's important for you to practice them first. So practice that now, and we'll see you in the next video.